see these rods. Yeah, I think they can see right there pretty good. <laughs> Probably see better than you. Somebody went live. <laughs> people jumping in there already. Jonathan Cortez. Welcome to the stream. I should move that rod. Which one? Yours are fine. It's just this one that's in the morning everybody. Let me move this real quick. Dang, we already got 49 people. Jay, what's up, man? Dustin Fowl, how you been, brother? Ah, we just got started, Dustin. Uh, we repositioned the boat right now, got these lines out. Chasing mud cats, good morning. The Gato Hunters, welcome to the stream. Just starting out, guys. Hector Gonzalez, how's it going? Watching from Kentucky, Calvin Howard. Hello from Ohio. Hey, yo. Yeah, I kind of like this spot back here, man. I'm just chill in the back of the boat. Let, do, let Tim do all the work. Travis, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we just got the lines out. Got some fresh cut bait on. Mark some fish, nothing big. Morales, Texas fishing. What's up, man? Mr. Morales, good morning. Tarzan. Uh, we are in New Mexico, Jay. Elephant, Elephant Butte Reservoir in New Mexico. Ronnie Scaff, what's going on? Dustin, I know, man. CatCon was canceled, unfortunately. Maurice Kaysen, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Morning, Maurice. How do you get your name to be blue? It's a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Josh, One Town Fishing Club. Good morning. Now, those are moderators on the channel. Joaquin, yeah, 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 man, give you a little shout out right there, make sure you got them pyramid weights, bro, hey, it's all about the five ounce pyramid weight, man, that's the, that's the magic one, bro, <laughs> Sharina, hello, how you doing, lots of cruises, used to live in cruises in the 90s, huh? He's in St. Louis now. Tirador. Come on. Come on, Tim. Get that now. fish. That is Mr. Molina. We got 70 people in the chat. Wow. That quick? All right, Jay. I already gave you a shout out, brother. Kick Batoto in the Philippines. That's awesome, man. Watching from the Philippines. Desert State Line Anglers. Mr. Sandman. Good morning. Frank Morales says, Saludos. 
Jorge Molina. Buenos días, señor. I wonder what he's cooking up right now. That guy's always cooking up something good. Is it cold? They want to know. How you feeling over there, Tim? Just a little. Just a little cold? He's got that heater next to him right there. Kind of blew out. Did it? Yeah, they're, they're known for that. Yeah, it's Jesse. He hates that heater. <laughs> Jay loves to fishing. That's awesome, man. How often do you go fishing? Mackenzie. Oh, yeah. What was that right there? Kayak and Catters 2021. Heading out now in a bit. Well, good luck, man. I hope you catch a big old fish today. He's from New Mexico. Oh, yeah? All right, Jay, thank you for dropping by and have a good day. Hector, is this the first trip of the year? No, sir. I've been, this is probably what? How many weekends are we in? Two, four. I did one Wednesday. Probably like six or, I don't know, six or seven trips already. The update on your sea arc, Dustin? No, I did not. What do you got going on with your sea arc? James Alba, what's up, man? <laughs> I thought I heard Chris yakking on here. I think I see Tim Molina, too. Yeah. Six pounds, 11 ounce, personal best. Good job on that. That's a good fish any day. Total overhaul, huh? I'll have to check that out. The fish count ended last year at 596 fish. I tried to get Tim to catch them last four, but he he stopped with that. How big was that last one? 26? 20, yeah, 26, 25, 26, something like that. But we're happy with that. Not bad with all the shutdowns and stuff that we had to deal with. Is Long Point open? I don't think so. You got a full wheeler. <laughs> I don't know if the gate's open or not. Uh, I know people are, are launching, like, uh, the duck hunters are going a little further up, up to, like, uh, Lost Canyon, uh, areas like that, and they're launching from there with their little boats. See him get that little rod out of your look out your lucky with it. Oh your little rod. <laughs> he didn't bring it. Is that James? Yeah. I have to leave my little rod out of it. <laughs> <laughs> James Alba. Yeah, I just out here waiting on a bike, guys. We had a couple nibbles. See how it goes. The waiting game. Wind A little bit. It, it shifted is what it did. Number two. Yeah. Have I ever targeted striper in this lake? <laughs> no, but we did catch a big old massive one, huh? Tim and his buddy, Steven, right? Yeah, Steven. He caught a 37-pound striper. What was that, in December or November? November? I don't even remember. November or December. Late in the year. What did that say? Or was the rock I found you under, is what James says. What rock were you hiding under there, Tim? James says it was in November. Yeah, James was out here. He knows. Oh, yeah, he was with us. 
Zach Thurman purchased some floats from me last week. Yes, sir. They are on their way. I packed them and shipped them out. I think uh, same day you, you bought them. Yeah, thank you for the support, and uh, hopefully you enjoy them. More people need to fix oh, I missed that one. Experience fishing and nature and get out of tech. I agree, Richard. Put put the phones down. Hey, I'm one to talk. Aren't you talking on the phone? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, there's there's Morales. What? Barbacoa. I missed it. Pan dulce. Oh, man. Yeah, we didn't even bring anything to snack on today. A and D bait and tackle. Yeah, unfortunately, man, they uh they're canceling the conference, but um they're working on uh trying to do a virtual conference. I know it's not as good as being there in person and all that stuff, but um, they're gonna try to do something uh, where at least they could do a live stream and. People could jump in. You're getting a bite on the blue cat rod. Blue cat rod yeah, it was a blue cat. I saw it then. Yeah. Number three. That one just had a bite. <laughs> Uncle Josh says, hey, did I hear snack? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes number four now. It's a little nibble. Come on. Come on, fish. Watching from Texas. Joe Bustillos. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Zach's going to watch from the bank and while oh, he's fishing. That's awesome, man. Oh, hold on. Is my name Chris? Yes, my name is Chris. Chris with Muddy River Catfishing. Watching from Ohio, Chris Hill. Welcome to the stream. Chris with a K or Chris with a C? Chris with a C. What day are we doing the tournament? Uh, March 13th. March 13th, we'll be, we'll be doing that live stream tournament. J-Dog, what's up, man? What? Tell him next time uh, we cast, we'll send one for him. There you go. <laughs> Stealth fishing, watching from the UK. That's awesome, man. Welcome to the stream. We got Matt Gillespie from Houston. Uh, yeah, kick. I agree, man. Get up on the muddy river. He says he wants to see me again, like the old days up in the muddy river. I probably won't be back out there until April or May. That's usually when the fishing starts picking up again. Last year was just, uh, or yeah, last year was just a bad year for that. Ninety-five viewers, thirty-five thumbs up. Thank you guys. I lost two as soon as I said that. <laughs> two thumbs up. I lost uh, two viewers. <laughs> oh. Weekend angler. Oh, we're still waiting on that first fish. Somebody call up old Jesse and tell him I need to borrow that skunk of his. Duke City Anglers, what's up, man? There you go. He got popped out. He's still there. Look at him. He's still playing with it. We're fishing at 44 foot deep. They're deep. All the fish I've been marking are in the 40 foot range. Put a pull out for J-Dog and you know it'll catch one, he says. <laughs> okay, blue cat rod just got bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta go. It was really cool annoying you. <laughs> I hope to see one of your live streams again. That's awesome, man. Thanks for jumping in. Who was it? 
Um, it's that, that one guy with the six pound personal best, the, the young kid. Come on, fish. He's still playing with it. Miss him? Cut shad, yes sir, cut gizzard shad. There's a there's a shad kill going on right now. So we'll see how that affects the fishing. Water temp is uh, 40 degrees, Thir whoa, 30, yeah, it's bouncing between 39 and 40 degrees right now. Warm enough. Yeah, that sun feels good. Yesterday was cold, man. We're losing viewers, man, like crazy. You better do something, Tim. Watching from Fort Worth. Peace City. Hey, how you doing, man? All right, we got 80. We're back to 80. 44 thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. I think it's Peace City, Philly, or, or Pittsburgh, or some other piece. Did you hear that? Peace City, is that Philly, Pittsburgh, what? Sam Gonzalez says, what's up? Oh, hold on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Small town in New Jersey near Philly. Watching from Hawaii. Oh, man. I wish I was over there. I wouldn't be wearing seven layers of clothes, that's for sure. Robert Chavez. Welcome to the stream. North Carolina, Clark, how you doing? Hey, if, uh, let's get 10 more people in here. I'm, I'm going to do a giveaway. Oh, Douglas, back from Qatar. Is this the one that has the head on it? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. When do I want to go fish the real ground in Albuquerque on kayaks? Man, that would be fun. That would be fun. I need to get there sometime, for sure. I need an airboat. Pow Pow Ed. They had a. They had one for sale. When? Yeah, how can they find it? I should have. Uh, he's still messing with it. Look at him. Yeah, I know. I already brought him all the way into the boat. Que pasa, masa? Nada, calabaza. King Hippo. King Hippo, man. I remember that from that punch out game. <laughs> that was way back in the day. Country boy catfishing. Welcome to the stream. Chomp, chomp. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Kansas in the house. <clears throat> Chris Reynolds. 
I had fun fishing in Kansas, man. That was a good time. <clears throat> it cold a little bit. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. I'm still wearing several layers, but I'm comfortable. Wood River, Illinois. Hey, we got 103. You catching anything? Not yet. Not yet. Douglas Fletcher, when are me and Luke from Captain Carp going fishing? Probably not for a long time, man. Yeah, he just came down not too long ago. 101 in chat. Oh, is that a bite? I don't know which one it was. It looked like it. It was either two or three. Mike Turner, yeah, we can do that. If I can. There. I got a fish on crazy. You think he's on there? KJ Dog. That one's for J-Dog, he says. All right. Number one's all slacked up. Bait of choice today, air run, is cut gizzard shad. going on guys yeah I'm still bundled up got several layers going on but uh, it's, a, it's a nice day the wind calmed down for some reason when Tim comes out here the lake turns to glass so I don't mind that at all but I wanted to give some away to you guys uh, first of all it's a size large so how many people in here wear a large I have a Muddy River jacket. It's a black um, Carhartt jacket with the Muddy River logo here and then the Muddy River logo in the back. And uh, it's not brand new, but I wanted to give it away because it's, it's not, it's, it doesn't fit me. And it's embroidered in the back, embroidered in the front, but it's a nice black Carhartt jacket. I want to give it away to to one of you guys so uh, we can do the whole pick a number we would pick a number and uh, oh that number two is getting hit it's number two I'm telling you man. I'm watching it keeping it watch yeah, sorry guys <laughs> so um, I got some moderators in here that can, uh, sorry guys, they're getting, he's getting bites, so the number four is getting hit now. But, uh, no, no, don't pick your number yet. I ain't even, you got to wait till I say start. Pick one number and, uh, and that's it. I got any moderators that'll help me out? All right. Hold on, I gotta see if he's gonna catch this fish real quick. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now I I can only ship within the United States. So if you are in the US, I'm happy to ship it to you wherever you're at. So what should we do? Number of one one through what? 
Man, you guys gotta wait. I haven't said go or anything. You gotta wait till I say go before you pick that number. Did you get one? He's got a fish on over there. Did he get him? Yeah, he's on there. Number one. Little bitty guy, first fish of the day, check it out. <laughs> he counts. All right, first fish, first fish in the boat. <laughs> so we got 130 people watching. Little dinks count, that's right. Thank you, the first one. Yeah. What did I hit? The rod holder. There you go. All right. I need a, I need a. Okay, you'll pick the number, Tim. All right. You'll pick the winning number, and then uh, I'll tell them what one through what one through five hundred, three hundred. Well, I don't want them to get two of the same. Okay. We'll go one through. All right, you guys. All right. So in case you guys are just. Uh, it's just jumping in. I'm going to give away a jacket right now, guys. It's a Muddy River catfishing embroidered Carhartt jacket. Um, it's a size large, so um, if you want a large Muddy River catfishing jacket, you're going to have to pick a number. And not until I say go, I'm going to say 1 through 300 is, is fair. So... Moderator's ready. And you mark, get set, go. Pick a number one to 300.
Remember, you only get one one number, guys. If you put multiple numbers, you're disqualified. That doesn't count. It is, huh? Let's stop right there. Somebody say stop. Type in stop. Yeah, stop. Hey, stop it. There we go. Okay. Mr. Molina, what is the magic number between 1 and 300? 118. 118. 118. What do you guys got? Who got who got 118 or closest to it without going over? Get a bite over there. This new rod's ultra sensitive, but but it it holds up. You know what I mean? Right. I could catch that little dink biting, but I couldn't see him on the rod. Baiting hooks and crossing eyes. What's up, man? All right. What'd you guys figure out? Douglas Fletcher says, if, we, if you catch one over 30 pounds, he'll do a cannonball. He'll do a cannonball. So, uh, I'm waiting for one of my moderators to say officially. Yeah, boo is what I'm getting at 116, or JM, who's that? Yeah, that was without going over. Your boy. 116. Yeah, okay. He got 116 is what I'm getting right there. What? It's like the election, he says. <laughs> Just wait, wait a little bit more. Let make sure everybody's scrolling. Or take a minute to scroll through all that. Before I give an official. Your boy Des had picked multiple numbers. Oh, okay. So yeah, your boy Des, you can't pick multiple numbers. That puts you out. So who came in next? Rodney Smith. Oh, you're looking at my hat. Thank you. Uh, we have them available on our website at muddyrivercatfishing.com. You're still messing with it? So the next one up is uh Pole Man Guide. Is that uh is that official guys? Pole Man at one fourteen. J. 
Jesse Reyes in the house, man. Big country catfish. And am I doing? Yeah, I'm actually. This is a guided trip right now. All right, so we're going to say Pole Man is the winner, right? Everybody's the consensus is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, man. Pole Man. Uh, send me your mailing information at chrisfloresfishing at gmail.com. That's K R I S F L O R F L O R E S fishing at gmail.com. And I'll get that jacket in the mail for you um, Monday morning. That was a poor man with a jacket. <laughs> come on, come on. What's up? Timmy from Chesapeake Bay, how you doing? Good night. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Jesse Reyes, I tell him. Whew. That's a good one, man. Hey, thank you, Michael. Yeah, there it is. Chris Lotus Fishing at gmail.com. Send me your mailing address, and I will get that jacket sent, sent your way. Congrats on winning. Yeah, I was saying we're almost going to have to use Jesse Skunk, but Tim handled that like a champ. There you go. Number four. Dink City over here. Jesse says, good morning, Tim. Good morning, Brother Jeff. He needs to be out here, man. We don't, we don't have to drill holes or nothing, man. We just get out here and start peeling layers off as it warms up. Is Pole Man still in here? There he is. Been watching a long time. Well, I appreciate it, man. I hope the jacket fits you and uh, serves you well. It's a good, it's a good jacket. West Tennessee, Randall Wade. And I'm dying to go to Tennessee. I want to go see my daughter. Uh, number three is getting looked at. A little tap on it. There he is. There he goes. Look at him. See him? Have I ever fished Kansas? If so, where did I fish and did I have any luck? Yes, I fished Kansas. There's a video if you go back, uh, it's been a few years. I, I took a guy named Isaac fishing. His his wife had called me and uh, or she emailed me saying that uh, that um, her husband was wounded in, in war and he wasn't expected to survive but he did and uh, he had to learn how to he had to learn how to walk and talk and feed himself and all that stuff all over again and uh, so she said that every year on that day he celebrates life and uh, so she reached out to me and said it was his 10th year and that uh, He's a big fan of Muddy River catfishing and asked if I would go out there. He was in Wichita and go fishing with him. And I said, yeah, of course. So my daughter Issa and I went out there and um, met Isaac and his family. Really cool people, man. And I uh, actually ran into Chris Parrish out there. Chris Parrish is the guy who makes the, the Muddy River catfishing bobbers. And... Uh, um, I also met up with uh, Keith Severn, and that's where I that's where I learned how to use float tubes. When you see me out there fishing float tubes, and so Keith and and Chris are nice enough to take us fishing, and 
Keith Severns took us. Uh, they let us borrow float tubes and stuff, and we went out and we hit some creeks and uh, I, I don't know the exact places, but we we're in the Wichita area, and it was it was it was funny, man. It was uh, it was tough. It was I think it was June, so it was it was, a, it was hot. It was fun. We wouldn't really catch anything. Um, he caught one decent sized channel cat that first time we went out and we went out a couple more times and didn't really catch anything. And I think the the last day, I'll never forget, he, he tells me, he says, man, I know you're tired and we've been hitting it hard and you're running on like three hours of sleep a day. And he says, I don't, I don't blame you if you don't want to go fishing today. We can just go, go downtown and check out the, uh, the art gallery and you know whatnot and uh he's still there and uh and just get something to eat and kick back you know and i told him well if you want to do that that's fine i said but i came out to fish and i got a hunch i know <clears throat> i know where the where they're going to be at and i have a feeling they're going to be biting tonight so it's up to you so my daughter that night ended up going with his wife, and they, they hung out, went to town, and me and Isaac went out, and we went to this one spot, we took some live bait, and, man, we hammered him, man. We caught some nice flatheads. He got a personal best. We caught a big old uh, hybrid white bass striper. Uh, it was an awesome, awesome experience. So, yeah, if I, you asked if I fished in... Uh, in Kansas, yeah, it was in the uh, Wichita area. But yeah, that was an amazing experience. Amazing experience. Let me get you back to Tim. He's the one getting bites over there. Lynn Leeper. River Whiskers. Catfishing Katie Collins. Welcome to the stream. You done with that heater there, Tim? I can get it out of your way. Yeah. You want your jacket here or you want to put it in the back? Give it back to one. Okay. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? I'm like right under the boat here. Ever done any bit of ice fishing? No, I've never I've never been in an area where there's enough ice to do any ice fishing. Sam Martin, good morning, North Dakota. You got one on there or what? You got another dink on. A little better, bro. Oh yeah? Need a net? Um, that's up in the ankle rope. Uh -huh. Got it all the way to me. Boat flipper. Fish number two. Keep double in the size. Yeah. I'll be a little bit better. That blue is hot, and I think it's all small. Well, Tim got another one, guys. Nothing to write home about, but. He's a cutie. Go down. Good. Sand it. There you go. All right. Let's see what 
rolling in the chat here. How about you, Tim? You ever been ice fishing? Nope. San Vanegas. Yeah, we forgot the burritos, man. I tell I told Tim, I'll get the boat, I'll get the rods, I'll get the rigs, I'll get the bait, I'll gas up the boat. Guy didn't even bring us a burrito, man. Your boy Troy, catfishing. Yeah, we just caught two little dinks. Nothing nothing to brag about, but no skunk. Come on, number two. How cold is it out here, Lacey? Uh, what's the air temp right now? It's not, it's warming up. I'll tell you right now. 44 degrees. Not bad at all. Palmetto says, come on, blue cat rod. What's up, Kevin? Coming up. That's right. Good for you, Kevin. James says he's got an omelet calling his name. Kelly's making Mexican tacos. Is there such a thing as American tacos? I thought taco was just automatically Mexican. Unless you go to uh unless you go to uh South Texas, man. You call it. You order a taco and they give you a burrito. Yeah, I did that in San Antonio. Yeah. I said, really? You want three? I said, yeah. Give me three at least. Yeah, I know, right? You <laughs> go <old> burrito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that either, man. I went down there and they were telling me, hey, man, don't order, don't order like six tacos because you won't be able to eat them all. It's like, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, they, they're a burrito. So I wonder if over there they got the taco bite and we got the burrito bite. Taco Bell is American tacos, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's good every once in a while. It'll get you by. I just, yeah. Fajita burrito, man, menudo. Dang, you guys are awesome. She's married into a Hispanic family. You married for the food, huh? <laughs> Of that song, I'm gonna marry for money. It's like, I'm gonna marry from some Mexican food. You can't beat Mexican food, man. I'll tell you what, menudo and a coke tecate. Fed in hook and crossing that. Yeah, the 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 rod, uh, the the medium action rod. I'll show it to you guys. That's where all the action has been today. Well, the fish know. They know which rod to bite. Saul, good morning. All right, guys. Let me show you real quick. This is the medium action rod we we call it the catfish rod we went ahead and ran with the logo on my hat and we put that on there as you can see right there these rods should be out next month the main differences on the rod is the butt end is tapered down it doesn't have that flared out bell type butt cap the, the handle length is the same it's got a black and gold reel seat um, and then it's black on black 
with the stainless steel guides and then you've got you got this yellow with the white tip now I, what I did is I'm gonna I'm gonna extend this yellow down one more one more section and then the, the white will come down one more section and that is the medium action rod and if you guys are curious about the the rig I'm using or that we're fishing with today some guys call it a high low rig some guys call it a fish finder rig but as far as what I've seen I haven't seen anybody do the flip float that I do so you start out with you start out with your lead we're fishing four ounces of lead then you come down and then you, you tie a little leader we've got a five five aught Daiichi hook shout out to Steven and you come out come up on another length and you've got another I guess like a dropper loop right with another circle hook and then what I do is I put this slip float and I trap it I trap it with this barrel swivel and the idea is so that when your bait is sitting on the bottom I mean if you have two hooks it doesn't matter if you get some slack they're gonna sit on the bottom and you're not fishing the water column but if you've got that float that float on there it does help hold your bait up so now you've got one on one high and one low like the uh, actual rig name so that is the rig of choice for today and it's been it's been producing when I'm anchored up this is my favorite one of my favorite rigs also I'll use this when I'm suspending a bait and what I'll do is since I've got that that loop on there you can just uh, take the weight off and change it I'll put eight ounces of lead on there and just suspend it over the side of the boat but today we're just gonna sit here anchored up see what we catch How does it do in current? In current, if you've got current, you don't really need the float. I mean, it'll still work, but the current itself will keep the bait pulled back. As long as you've got somewhat tension, so you're, if you're sitting in, in current, right? Your lead's here, your line's going up to, to your boat, and the current's gonna be grabbing that bait and, and pulling it back so it'll actually be it'll actually be pulled this way now when you do hook your bait and you're fishing in current try to hook it in a in the corner of a bait find a corner or cut your bait at it at an angle so that it doesn't start to helicopter or spin on you like that you don't want that action so you want it to kind of lay in the current and float like that wanted to feel oh the rods yeah yeah unfortunately what a shame uh darn pandemic ruined everything but let me get you guys back to the the man of the hour right here there he is live action, live action. no burrito Told you last time you don't eat them all. You never make it to any again. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what time we got there? Nine twenty-one. What do you there think? There you go. There you go. Three dogs. Oh yeah. Good catch in this year too. New cat rod. Come on, Tom Edel called it. Did you 
ever considered there's a way to mount like these lower? Like on one of these? I mean, it would make no sense for the normal guy, but for me, it would make a lot of sense. There it goes, look at well, I could just take it off and put them, put them on the rail. I could take that corner tee off and then put them on there. Yeah, I could do that next time. Let's see if I got any more rail bracket. If not, I know a guy. All right. DMV Whisker King in the house. What it be? A copper rig. I've never heard of a copper rig. Blue Cat, come on. Come on, fish, we need a bite. Oh, there's my chat. Tell Tim to catch a fish and stop playing around. I know. What's up, Tim? Come on. We got 119 people waiting for a fish. The fishing magician. What's up, man? Out here just Messing with dinks right now. We catch some salmon. That cannot be for us. I miss. I must have missed something. Or maybe, heck, catch us a salmon, Tim. You can do it. Devin, is this Elephant Butte? Yes, it is. Elephant Butte, New Mexico. <laughs> Everybody says I need a camera guy, huh? <laughs> I already volunteered. Mario Mechanic Molina. Primo. Is that your primo? I don't know, but maybe. You never know. You never know. Old Buzztail, what's up, man? He says, good morning, Tim. Good morning, sir. Come on, fish. Blue cat rod. Is the water cold? 40 degrees right now. How's the water level? I heard it's coming up like a foot a week right now. The water's come up a lot, actually. It's come up quite a bit.
Water levels come up a bit. Looks like a good day to be fishing. Every day is a good day to be fishing. That's right. Can't wait for the virtual tournament. Tournament. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get my. Uh, um, what the heck is that? The, the schedule done. I'm gonna get that scheduled there, uh, Kevin. Uh, just as soon as I get around to getting to my computer between now and March. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'll be your cameraman. It works for burritos? Hey, man, call your wife, man. I want to apologize to her personally. Tell her to stop punishing me. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be a one-time chance. How many so far, Sam? Uh, two. I can't do it from a computer. Oh man, I wanted I wanted to do it from a computer because I was going to try to copy all the stuff that you wrote in the description and paste it on there. I'm trying to do it on my phone. I said, oh, that's way too much. See that weird cloud, how it kind of spirals up. Oh yeah. See that? Yeah. Where's the next fish at? There we are. So. And this one, Chris. Which? What do you want to do? Let's go back that way. Okay. You want to catch it that way? Just because here it's not doing anything. This is the only one that really hasn't got a bite. That front one's getting hit. Number four. Number four. Here comes a paying customer today. <laughs> No wonder you're not getting bites. You're missing a bait. You want that head still? No. You want a smaller bait? Yeah. I'm going to be fishing on credit. Where would you like it, sir? Towards the, the small the buoy over there? Yeah, that like angled back that way. Thank you. 
Oh, you want me to save this one for fresh baked too? Yeah, this stuff needs to be. You do that. I'm going to go pee. Keep an eye on one for me. Or four. Mm -hmm. Camera? I'll go around. Okay. Don't worry, Tim. Scared the <laughs> heck out of me. <laughs> I need that bait. I lost the bait. So how'd the wine go over? Uh, then we'll try it. I don't know. She never said. I have to know if she's thinking yet. I don't know if she said. It's okay. She don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if she's had it or not. Think about how many wines you kind of got to take it when you get it. Cause oh, really? Well, it gets cinnamon on you. Sweet, not sweet her out. This is the bait for the day. Gizzard shad, guys. Babies. Babies. Let me see that and I'll go around to there. Okay. Let okay. me knock everything over the camera tripod. <laughs> as long as it falls in the boat, we're good. Well, you know what? I don't think I can go through there. That cord. I can move you. Oh, I can unplug it. Actually, it'd probably be easier to scoot it over. <coughs> Nothing going on right now, anyway. Just scoot these guys over. Put these guys right up. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Good for now. Get some bait going. Birds over there? Yeah. Bunch of birds just hanging out. I was saying when you hook that bait, when you're fishing in the current, Try to grab it on the corner and I, if your bait is smaller on one side and bigger on the other, put the big side down so as the current pulls it, it, it sits, sits like that floating and not, not trying to flip back and, and start spinning on you. So if you grab it on the corner, it should, it should sit right in the water.
warming up, Tim. Yeah, it's very nice. I just wish you'd make it to me. <laughs> you have to go live on your OnlyFans page. My OnlyFans page? Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> It's a special page where you can go live naked if you want. Oh. <laughs> Can't do that here, Tim. Sorry. I don't even want to see my stuff in <laughs> All right. You're gonna need a. You're gonna need to find a different cameraman for that. Tex Tiger, he says too windy. Uh, I'm trying to catch up on these comments here. Good morning. Fishing Local 336. Native Gorilla. Good fishing in Nebraska. Why? Good eating. Miss living in Chamberino back in the day. Oh man, I'm actually doing a job close to Chamberino. How funny. I know it's the COVID, but does that steakhouse in uh, Messia still exist? Steakhouse in Messia? Yeah, right down town. There's like a famous old steakhouse there. Uh. Because I can edit on the computer for the link, but I have to schedule from the phone. Just call me and I'll walk you through it. All right. Did we, uh... What's up with this one, man? Did the boat sway or what? That's, that's what I was about or did to the, ask you. You got a fish pulling it or what's going on? That one's... I think the boat shifted. Yeah, we're moving. Yeah, because we're all going slow. Well... That's weird. There's not even a breeze. How are we moving? Is my anchor's dragging? There's one more anchor. I'm gonna have to recast that one because if, if we get something, it's gonna go right to the motor. Yeah, because a while ago that buoy was over there, and now it's way back there. Right. And this was still pointing straight to the buoy. Yeah, that's weird that we just run foot. Yeah. You got it already in there. I got it. Alright. We'll ride you on it. All right, let's see what you guys are talking about over here. Go towards the birds, find the fish. That's what I was exactly telling Tim earlier. There's a, there's a shad kill that we need to go check out. A bunch of birds over there? They're all sitting on the bank. Oh, those over there, I see them. No, I was talking about those ones. There's a bunch over there, look. You tell me, Tim, if you want to move, we'll move. Or if you're happy here, we'll stay here. There's at least one more fish to be caught. All right. Tim wants another fish. Disrupt the feed if we need. I can still go live and drive. Thumbnail looks legit. Thank you, man. That was this morning as I walked out to launch the boat. 
is Tim related to Fausto Molina in Las Cruces? I don't think so. Not that he knows of. We're going to look it up on Ancestry. No, heck no. <laughs> My daughter wants me to do that Ancestry thing. I'm like, nah. Did you see that program uh, where they caught that, I'm not saying I'm a serial killer, but they caught that serial killer because one of his ancestors went on Ancestry? Oh, yeah. Time? Uh uh. Yeah, and so her DNA matched his enough so they knew she was family. And they were able to find him through her. Huh. That's crazy. So they share that, they share your DNA with all different kinds of things law enforcement and uh, child support. <laughs> you get 10 different new cases open up, Tim. How are you going to pay that? And, uh, well, didn't have a what kind of animals are in this one here? Yeah. Okay. Jesse's asking what kind of animals are in the mountains over here. In this, okay, so this mountain right here. You'll probably find rattlesnakes, coyotes, raccoons. Yeah, probably some some mule deer. Uh, what else do you find out there? DMV's taking the pit bull and the daughter walking. Us Chicanos have a lot of familia anyways. Yeah, we, we do have big families. As far as I know, I'm not related to anybody in Las Cruces, as far as I know. Rabbits, yeah. Rabbits. Jackrabbits, cottontails. Roadrunners. Yeah, that's right, roadrunners. I've seen a bald eagle out here. Pelicans. Pelicans. Seagulls. Loons. Skunks. Yes, sir. Skunks. That's right. You got no armadillos. That's a good one. No, no armadillos here. Ever have a rattlesnake swim onto your boat? Nope, not not uh, not around here. I saw a video that somebody out here had a rattlesnake swimming by one time. But nah, but there are a lot of rattlesnakes in those rocks. Ask old Buzztail, he knows. Yeah, just ask Doris. <laughs> your fish man where did it go snakes are good eating actually I've tried rattlesnake it was pretty good what kind of bait today gizzard shad Lacey thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us have a great day King snake. King snakes are cool, man. I used to have one as a pet when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Black and yellow one. That little breeze kicked up, huh? All it takes is that little breeze. Is the water level going up on the lake? Yes, it is. It is coming up a little bit at a time. I think they said a foot a week or something now. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's got, it's come up quite a bit. I was just thinking about that today when when I was waiting for you to to drive down because I had I had good cell phone service for I was parked by the water and like two months ago I I had I'd be dead, but it's because we were so much down so much further down yeah. in that hole. A lot of people freaked out on that ramp. 
Yeah, the longest ramp ever. <laughs> Have a Mexican black king snake. Nice. My buddy Philip, he's into snakes like that. Venomous snakes, vipers, and all that. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> I don't want anything that I don't want anything as a pet that can kill me. You know. He has a wife that could kill them. <laughs> it's because he said I don't like having anything. I don't have. I don't have any pets or anything that could kill me. You know. He says, well, I got a wife that could kill me. <laughs> yeah, Ricky's creations in the house. Yeah. Search history where and it says where to buy arsenic or thallium. Greetings from snowy Indiana. John Wilson, welcome to the stream. How far is the other spot? Which spot are we talking about? The next one. We can either go try where you caught that last big one on the other side on that drop off, or we can we can head we can head uh, south towards the dam and see where all these birds are at. What's the closest? The drop off. The ledge is just right there. So we'll go to the birds and then hit the dam. Go to the dam. Catch them. If we go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna do both spots, we probably hit the ledge first. Because if we go that way, then we have to come all the way back up here. Texas Tiger Coffee Fun, thank you for the for the uh, donation there. Super chat, awesome. Yeah, hey, George jumped in there. What do you say? Oh yeah, Havelina. Havelina, that's right. No, there's Havelinas around here. Asking about the reels. Jesse's asking about my reels. They're all pin reels. I've got the Pin Pursuit 3. Uh, the first two are Pin Pursuit 3s. The one on the Blue Cat Rod is the Pin Wrath. And I guess that other one is a Pin Pursuit 3 too, huh? And then the, uh, the only other reel that I have on here that's not in the camera view is the Pin Fierce. But I'm happy with all those, man. Uh, running a guide service, having to have something dependable and not expensive. All these oh. pin reels run about, like in the, I guess, like the $60 range. Bobby's asking if we caught anything. We caught two little blue cats so far. Unless you want to just scoot around here a little bit until we can find the school of fish again. Well, we work our way towards the ledge. Maybe we'll run into something, and if not, we'll fish there. Okay. I did that yesterday, and I didn't mark anything between here and there. But, I mean, we can go across the top. They're usually in the 40 foot right now. That's what I'm marking. Yeah. You want to do that? Go to the ledge? All right, we're gonna move spots, guys. Got to put the long, the long travel in the heat of the day. We're gonna move spots. You guys hang tight. What did I miss here? Oh, the real sizes are six thousands. Real 
size there's six thousand guys we're gonna we're gonna pull anchors and we're gonna move spots real quick guys hang tight
spot I'm gonna go take us to. There's some submerged timber up on the north end where the water's coming in. We'll go mess around there for a little bit, see what happens. I'm gonna put this wind mic in, my external mic, just to see if it helps with the wind or not. You guys tell me. 